That's a serious Peruviana. Is that, have I got the Latin right? That's that cactus that sprang up on its own. It's getting quite big now. And I think it's also called an apple cactus. It had four ribs originally. As it gets older, its head is starting to swell. I suppose that happens to us all, doesn't it? Anyway, as it gets older, its head is starting to swell. And instead of four ribs, right on top, it's starting to have six ribs. Up there on top. It's got six ribs all together up on top. You can see from above here that it's got six ribs all together on the new section. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's yes, six. This is elm, by the way. This is some sort of tough, very tough elm. It's not an English elm, but all growing around it is some sort of elm. I think it might be Spanish elm or something. I'm not sure. But this cactus has six ribs on the top section. I don't know how this cactus got here. Perhaps a bird dropped a seed from a fruit. Can't wait for it to bloom. I do give it, I, I do give it a bit of water occasionally. I want to eat one of the apples on it when it has an apple. I'd like to try that. It's said to be even nicer tasting than dragon fruit. So that should be something. Definitely got six ribs in the in the new section. Here's a, here's a bit of a handheld uh, look at it for Bob the cactus nut, for Bob in Arizona. Just looking at the top. Looks like a sea urchin or something, doesn't it? That's what the new ribs look like coming up. Complete with lambs bleating and dog barking. I always enjoy your cactus videos, Bob. That's a parrot. Here we are posing together. Have a little drink, my cactus friend. My dear cactus friend, my fine spiny friend. So you can see how big this cactus is, it's grown quite a lot. I thought I'd pose with it so you could see exactly how big it was. Isn't it wonderful? I can't wait for it to have fruits on it. I could cut this elm away, couldn't I, to make the cactus more of a showpiece. 
I think they used to use cactus spines in the old days for gramophone needles. I think they did. It makes a nice sound. I'll make it more of a showpiece on its own. I've seen Australian caterpillars that are green and have thorns like that on their tails. I think I made a video of one once. Uh, type in caterpillar into my channel search engine and you'll probably find it. It was green and it had one big single horn like that on, the, on its tail. Some caterpillars can sting. Ow! Oh, some, <laughs> some Australian caterpillars can sting. See you then. Oh.